What's up, everybody? This is Coaster Daddy back today with another review of The Raven at Holiday World. Now, this is one of my personal all-time favorite coasters, and it opened in 1995. And I remember back when I originally became a roller coaster enthusiast at roughly the age of 11. This was one of my all-time, you know, top bucket list rides because I had heard so much about it at the time. You know, a lot of people, you know, would hype it up, talk about it as being one of the best wooden coasters on the planet, which it definitely was back then. And I, I, I truly still believe it is today. I finally got to ride this in September of 2015 when I went to Holiday World for the first time. And I have to say, I was blown away. Even after all I had heard about this ride, even with Voyage at the same park, you know, having ridden, uh, you know, another great Gravity Group wooden coaster in a Ravine Flyer 2, which I do like a little more than this, but I was absolutely blown away. The Raven is the first thing you see in the park from the parking lot, and it's so deceiving looking at it because it only stands at 80 feet tall, and it looks like a ride that's fun, but when you get on this thing, it, I mean, it hauls. It's flying through those woods. It's got that big drop midway through the course of the ride. And it is just so intense. And it, in this in this day and age of, you know, RMCs and all, all these fancy new coasters that have come out, which are all great rides, I feel like the Raven actually gets a little bit overlooked now. You know, a coaster that was once considered the number one wooden coaster on the planet by pretty much all enthusiasts, but I still believe this ride holds its own. The ride experience on the Raven starts with this slow left turn out of the station, goes over the hues there, through the shed with the transfer track, take a little dip down, and then you hit the lift hill. So as you can see, just from being on the lift hill, this ride is heavily engulfed by the, the woods in the area, which, as I briefly touched upon earlier, is going to make for an awesome ride experience. So, pretty quick to get to the top. It's only 80 feet tall. Take a slight turn to the right there. Then you hit the first drop, 85 feet, and then into the 120-foot long tunnel. Go up the second hill, down the drop here. Then you head up into this hill, bank to the right. You go over the sweeping turn over Lake Rudolph, which is awesome. One of the only parts of the ride you can see when you're not actually on it. Go down this little drop here to gain some more momentum, up a little bit. Then down this awesome 61-foot drop into the woods. This part is this where it gets really wild. You go through this double-banked S-turn here. This is one of the best parts of the ride. And you, you're just flying right here. Go through another turn there. And then you just take a turn, you know, left into the final breaks. So, as you can see, the Raven is a pretty short ride overall. But what it gives you is absolutely amazing. I mean, the, the pacing is excellent. The ride starts out great once you hit that first drop. And then you have the tunnel. And then... Once you hit the second drop, you know, you gain a little more momentum and go over the lake. And then when it when it goes back into the woods from, you know, that swooping turn over the lake, that's where the ride really heats up. And that's where you're going to get the best moments on the Raven. This ride is not all about the airtime. I do remember there being some decent airtime, but this ride is just really about the sheer speed at which you're flying you know you're low to the ground flying by all these trees and something interesting according to holiday world's website that the famous s turn through the woods after that fifth drop on the raven was actually placed there to save some trees from being cut down this is a great example of a ride that was designed around the existing terrain truly making it a awesome terrain coaster. I have not ridden a lot of coasters up to this point, and this is one of my all-time personal favorites right now. Ranks very highly. One last thing I want to point out with my review of the Raven 
is that from my experience when I wrote it in 2015, and I believe I got at least five rides on it, I know I wrote it several times, the Raven was a pretty rough coaster, and it really honestly just added to the excitement in my opinion. It was the out of control type of experience that you want out of a wooden coaster a lot of times. At least that's, you know, what a lot of enthusiasts want. And I have to say, I think the Raven is truly an exciting ride and very fun and enjoyable as well. Um, for my review, I'm going to give the Raven a 9 out of 10. At some point, I'm going to be doing a top 10 coaster list of the rides I've ridden so far. That'll probably come sometime before the end of the year or possibly in January. Thank you guys for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. I'll see you all next time.